were these commissions established to do? Why were they created independent of the executive? It's because Kenyans had a history of mistrust or expectations that had not been met and therefore they said there are certain functions that they wanted to be carried out independently. For example, I was a treasury official for a very long time and before the constitution, both the functions of budgeting, including the controlling of budget and audit, was a function of the national treasury. But now they are independent and they carry out their functions independently because Kenyans saw it fit that it should be so. The same applies for I IPOA, for example. Why is it that violations that have been carried out by institutions of police were separated from that institution and put separately in IPOA? is because of our history and what Kenyans had experienced. Similarly, the issues of integrity, ESCC and DCI, and therefore, mostly and affect most of us, which is budget, that you also consider having a conversation on why it is that the framers of the constitution dependent commissions. And then ask yourselves, are we carrying out that function as we ought to carry according to the spirit of the constitution? Or are we an appendage of the executive or the public? And the reason I say this, I'm constrained to say this, is because this week, we had an uncomfortable exchange between some people from the council and one of the independent commissions. And it was very unfortunate. And there, were, there was a public conversation about how then, if you hold the office of an independent commission, how you should carry out that function. I think that is a critical conversation. How should you carry out that function? And I'll give the function, for example, of investigations because it is very um, sensitive. Everybody assumes that politicians are corrupt. But there is corruption everywhere in this country if you are honest with yourself. Whether in the private sector, in the social sector, in the national government, in the county governments. And so how do you as independent commissions carry out that fiduciary duty within the spirit of the constitution so that you give confidence to the public that indeed you're carrying it out without fear or favor. I think the experience of this week uh, was uncomfortable, uh, so to speak, for those of us who hold the office of governor, and for me, the office of the chair of Council of Governors, I'm constrained to mention it. So while 